So impedance triangle, admittance triangle and power triangle. So impedance triangle. So impedance triangle together draw impedance triangle. So Z is equal to where Z is an impedance. Uh, we can write R plus JX. So Z as R plus JX which is a rectangular form. And the same Z we can write as mod Z at an angle of theta which is in polar form. So here mod Z is equal to root over R square plus X square. So under theta equal to tan inverse X by R. And similarly, uh, here if we know R and X, we can find mod Z and theta. Means if rectangular coordinates are given, so we can find polar coordinates. And similarly, if polar coordinates are given, so we can find rectangular coordinates. So R is equal to mod Z cos theta. X equal to mod Z sin theta. So here R is called as, so here Z equal to R plus JX, where R is called as resistance, X is the reactance and Z is the impedance and cos theta is a power factor. So if you express that in the form of a diagram, so this is a resistance which is a real term and X term, reactance is an imaginary term and Z is the resultant of a real component and imaginary component Z and the Z so uh, the angle um, making by Z, the angle made by Z with reference is uh, theta. So here uh, R and X are the uh, components of rectangular form and Z mod Z. So mod Z and theta are the uh, mod Z and theta are the components of uh, polar form. So this is impedance triangle. So it is a right angle triangle. So similarly admittance triangle so admittance triangle so here in the similar manner y equal to g minus jb so and the same y equal to mod y at an angle of theta so here mod y is equal to root over g square plus b square and theta equal to tan inverse b by z so similarly y is g equal to mod y cos theta, g equal to mod y cos theta and b equal to mod y sin theta. So here g is called as conductance, uh, unit is uh, mo or Siemens uh, and b is acceptance, uh, unit is mo and y is admittance, uh, unit is mo. So here g and b are the uh, components, uh, uh, rectangular form components and uh, mod y and theta are uh, polar form components. So if you express this uh, in the form of a diagram, so this is g minus jb and this is mod y resultant of g and b and uh, theta is the angle made by mod y with a reference. So here this is admittance triangle which is a right angle triangle. So here uh, resistance, reactance and impedance unit is ohms. And our cos theta is power factor. And see here, G is conductance and B is acceptance and Y is admittance. Unit is Mo or otherwise Siemens. Cos theta is power factor. And power triangle. So similarly, power triangle S is equal to complex power P plus J Q. And the same S can be written as mod S at an angle of theta. So here also, if you know P and Q, you can find mod S and theta. So mod s equal to root over p square plus q square and theta equal to tan inverse q by p. And similarly, if you know mod s and theta, you can find p and q. So p equal to mod s cos theta and q equal to mod s sin theta. So here p is active power, which is in watts. Unit of active power is watts. Unit of p is watts. And q is reactive power. Unit is volt ampere reactors. And s is called as complex power or apparent power unit is volt amperes. So if you represent in the form of a diagram P plus JQ, P is a real term and Q is an imaginary term and S is the mod S is the resultant of P and Q. So mod S is the resultant of P and Q and theta is the angle made by mod S with reference. So this is a power triangle so which is a also a right angle triangle. So unit of P is watts where P is active power and Q is reactive power and unit is wars and S is apparent power and unit is volt amperes.